Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Outlook app keeps crashing on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to disable the add-ins. To do this just press the Windows plus R key combo to open the run window and then simply type the following command. Now you can just click on OK. Now in the Outlook app just click on the file tab and afterwards click on options located in the lower left corner. In the Outlook options window just click on add-ins on the left pane and afterwards next to manage com add-ins just click on the go button. Now you can just untick the boxes for the things that you don't need and simply press on OK. Now you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use the advanced options for the Office app. To do this press the Windows button then simply select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane click on apps and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now because I don't have all the Office apps installed I will just show you a similar example with the calculator app. So scroll down until you find Office and then simply click on the three dots next to it and select advanced options. In here just scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by pressing the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't work you can proceed with clicking on the reset button. Now the app's data will be deleted. So the software will be reset to the factory settings. You can check if the problem still persists and in case it still does you can then proceed with uninstalling the app and then reinstalling it. So in the same panel you can click on uninstall and then you can try reinstalling the app to see if the problem still occurs. And lastly another great solution is to run the Windows Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on system and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now just click on other troubleshooters and afterwards just scroll down until you find the Windows Store apps and click the run button next to it. Windows will try to find any fixes for your problem. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.